Cincinnati here in Cedar Rapids. Just wanted to thank you for reaching out on the 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland that you're interested in and just wanted to do a quick video for you. I got the vehicle popped open here with the wipers up. Sorry about the snow. It, um, but if you look down here, it's got the running fog lights down there at the bottom. It's going to give you added visibility while you're driving. Uh, body's in rather good condition for how old it is. I don't see any major dents to my eye and very minimal scratches. I will show you this one just so um, you see it and are aware of it. And that's on the uh, driver's side rear door. Um, but for the most part, very, very nice vehicle. It's four wheel drive. It is an overland, so it's gonna be a bit more loaded than your standard Jeep Grand Cherokee here. You've got the backup camera, um, the automatic lift gate with a towing hitch hookup right back there for your ball. Um, coming around to this side here, got good tires on the guy. It's got leather interior. Um, the cool thing about it is that both the seats up front are powered. They both have heated and cooled options. But I just wanted to do a quick walk around of the outside for you just so you can see it and then let's just go ahead and hop in real quick so we'll go ahead and hop in here now this guy has 226 344 on it for mileage all right you've got your steering wheel mounted controls right there radio heated cooled seats heated steering wheel your tow and haul mode remote start for you and then your four-wheel drive options right down there um, another cool thing this one comes equipped with is the universal garage door opener um, up there with your sunroof and moonroof settings right there. I'll give you a quick snippet of that. So it does have the uh, sunroof and moonroof in here as well. And then the tan kind of leather seating for you, okay? Now, one thing I did notice as soon as I got in here was kind of, um, you know, your trim up there on the dash was tore up a little bit. That's probably why we had this vehicle priced so aggressively, um, just to account for, uh, you know, the trim right there on the dash, okay? Another thing you will notice hopping out of here, does have the memory seats up to two functions for the driver. And then your steering wheel is even powered and it's telescoping, so it goes in and out and up and down, all right? Back seat space-wise, I love the Jeeps personally just because of what they're used for they're more of an off-road style vehicle i would say um but the the storage space in it's really nice too not only for passengers but you can fold those seats down and maximize your storage in your trunk um a couple cool features back here uh the rear seats are actually heated too and then you've got a charging hookup right there for that actually uses a power block so that's a good thing to have for uh, traveling all right so come around to the back here storage in these things are great not only can you use the, uh, the fold down seats, but it does have the ability if you wanted to, to put a luggage rack up there on top to kind of help maximize it a little bit. So go ahead and here's a view from the passenger side as well of the back seat. And then passenger side front seat. And then there's the, the power seat functions right there for you, okay? All right, Sandra, thank you so much for reaching out. If you have any questions regarding the vehicle, feel free 